So my name is uh, Dr. Koshik Hazratwala. I'm from Townsville, North Queensland. I'm the director at the Orthopedic Research Institute of Queensland and also director at the Townsville Lower Limb Clinic. My general experience with uh, software guided surgery started uh, uh, when I finished my training in 2006. And uh, I just felt there's something missing in the execution of the surgical techniques we have. And the conventional instruments weren't quite giving me the control and precision that I needed. So I, I started investigating uh, the um, uh, options with assistive technologies and obviously navigation is at the forefront of assistive technologies. So I, if, if, if you ask me, uh, have I seen a benefit? Yes, I, I have seen a, a, a benefit and I've, I've been seeing this ben benefit for the last 15 years and it's just a matter of, of, of standing up and presenting your data so that people believe what you're saying. If you just stand up and say it's good, it's not good enough. So yes, you have to collect data and I do collect data with, with my research group. The long-term data is yet to be presented. Uh, I think the five, ten-year data is where, where the game is going to be to convince people that this is what we should do, so that'll happen in due course. I uh, looked at robotics uh, and I looked at companies uh, that had uh, a robot-like uh, instruments for surgical execution, but I found they were highly inaccurate, uh, so I walked away from it. And I continue to do navigation because I, I believe that robotics is an, is, is an extension of navigation. Uh, unless you plan with navigation, uh, you, you can't get the robot to do what you want to do. So if you've got a wrong plan, the robot will execute wrong. So you, navigation allows me to understand the anatomy plan my surgery and, and if, if in the future, if, if there's, there's a robot that's accurate in execution, I wouldn't have a problem using it. But at this stage, I think I can, I can execute just as well as a robot. Actually, I may be even more accurate than a robot. The data is not there to support the use of a one and a half to two million dollar equipment for just cutting bone, which we can do. The, the game is not in cutting the bone, the game is to know where to cut the bone. In the future, I believe that software navigated surgery is, is, is the way to go. I remember being a resident now almost 20 years ago, and I can see the difference between then and now, and the next 20 years are going to be very interesting with the, with the change in, in the healthcare economics, the healthcare landscape, the ownership of healthcare, and, 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 and the governments of today. It's going to be very interesting in the next 10 years.